Hi, my name is Dean Yoshizumi from Heist Tackle, and today I'd like to talk to you about a technique that's gaining popularity, and that's joining fluorocarbon to braid and for freshwater use. Uh, what we have here is 30 pound solid braided line, and we're going to connect a 12 pound fluorocarbon. And the tool we're going to feature today is called a finger saver. Okay, the knot we're going to use for demonstration purposes is the Albright Special. And you start by doubling your fluorocarbon, bringing the braid through the loop and winding back down 10 times. Coming back through the loop the opposite way, which went in, so the lines come out parallel. And draw the line by pulling your main line first and then cinching together. You hold the fluorocarbon line, both lines together as if they were one. And we're going to take the feature tool, which is the finger saver, and wind the main line and cinch. And then we're going to take the tag end, repeat the process. And as you can see, there's eliminates the finger, the line cuts on the finger, and speeds the knot tying process up. Trim your tag end. And the nice thing about this knot is we're going to recinch it. And if this knot's going to fail, it fails right here, not when you're fishing. Take a fingernail clipper, and don't be afraid to trim this close. You can get right in there. And you can see it's a super compact knot. The fluorocarbon is encapsulated in the knot, so it can't be fractured as it goes through the guides or over the bale of a spinning reel. All right, here's something we'd like to add, which doesn't have anything to do with the finger saver. Um, but we've been getting a lot of questions on alternative knots to attach a hook, uh, especially for drop shot. Um, that has a little higher performance than a polymer knot. And this is a knot that was born in the saltwater tuna fishing. It's called a Miller knot. And basically what you do is you pass the line through the eye of the hook twice. Make a loop. Take your tag in and go over once, twice. You go through the doubled line and then back through the double, it will form a figure eight. And then you cinch this up. This is a super strong knot for fluorocarbon, because as it cinches up, it's not a clinch style knot, but it's of a cushion knot. And then you take your tag end, pass it back through like you would a polymer, and then you have your drop shot knot. It's a small compact knot, it's double lined at the eye, and it's, um, we don't have an exact rating on it, but it does outperform the um, clinch knots and it does outperform the polymer knot. <laughs> 